40 to 45% of what we do every day is a habit, according to studies that have been done by a number of researchers. You know, when you back your car to the driveway, you're doing it by habit. When you walk into the cafeteria and you really intended to get a salad, but you end up getting that unhealthy sandwich you get every day, that's a habit. 40 to 45% of what we do every day happens almost non-consciously. Hmm. But every single part of that is under our control if we choose it to be. Hmm. Yeah, now I can imagine uh, someone listening and saying, uh, well, look, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, you know, I've, I've tried repeatedly in my life to change a given habit and I have not had any luck. So what kind of response or hope might you give someone like that? Yeah, so I think the first thing to understand is that's totally natural, right? And oftentimes when we fail, it's because we don't understand how habits work. And there's a core insight into how habits function, which is every habit has three components. There's a cue, which is like a trigger for an automatic behavior. And then there's the routine, the behavior itself, what we think of as the habit. And then finally, there's a reward. Every habit in your life delivers a reward to you, whether you're aware of it or not. And what's important to recognize is that we oftentimes think about changing a habit or trying to fix a habit or create a habit by focusing exclusively on the behavior, on the routine. But what we've learned from experiments is that it's the the cue and the reward where our greatest leverage power exists. Mm. That if we focus on the cue and reward and start fiddling with the gears, we can change the behavior much more easily. 